Hello, and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at, thank you, Richard, the Arduino Nano ESP32, a small development board that gives you lots to do. Time to unbox it. Unless you are new to electronics or a total idiot who has been living under a rock for the past 20 years, as the name suggests, the Arduino Nano ESP32 is an Arduino Nano that's connected to, wait for it, can you guess what it is? An ESP32. Now, of course, there are some more interesting features about this board, but we will save that for later when we dive into the technical bits and bobs. So let's explore why this board is awesome. To start, the Arduino Nano ESP32 takes the Nano that we all love and adds Wi-Fi capabilities to it, and that's a pretty big deal. As the board is backwards compatible with pre-existing Nano designs, this can easily be dropped in place without any changes to the hardware or software needed. And then you get Wi-Fi, which means internet access. But wait, it gets better because the ESP32 also supports Bluetooth, which means short range Bluetooth projects are now possible. So yeah, that opens up tremendous, huge possibilities. Another great feature of this board is that they finally, my God, finally got rid of the micro USB-B in favor for the USB-C. I love that connector. Honestly, it's the best thing that happened to USB. Getting straight down to business, the first noticeable change is that the ESP32 is the main controller on this board and not an AppMega 168 or 328, which are extremely outdated at this point. They were good, but at some point, we just have to take old Yeller out back of the shed. In addition to the ESP32 and all the supporting hardware it needs, the Nano ESP32 also includes an LED on pin 13 and an RGB LED on pins 14 to 16. So you have plenty of illumination opportunities. No, 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 illumination, not Illuminati. This board also has 14 digital IO pins, eight analog input channels, and five PWM pins, but those will be shared with GPIO. Additionally, the Nano ESP32 also has two UART ports, an I2C port, and an SPI port. Now, with regards to power, this thing gets interesting. This board operates on 3.3 volts, no thanks to the ESP32 but the input voltage can supply anywhere from six to 21 volts. So that's pretty darn impressive. Just like the Arduino Nano, the Arduino Nano ESP32 can do everything that it could do and more. The most obvious use case for the Nano ESP32 is in IoT projects, whereby sensors and devices are connected to the Nano ESP32 and controlled remotely via the internet. You could either use pre-existing IoT infrastructure to control your Nano ESP32, or better, create a protocol from scratch that gives you full control, plus it's one hell of an educational experience. The Nano ESP32 can also be used as a generic microcontroller, but providing far more processing power than the Nano ever could, thanks to its 280 megahertz CPU. For example, this could be used as a drone controller automated lock system, or even a drinks machine that only provides disappointing flavors like backwash lemonade and scummy gravy water. Another excellent use case for the Nano ESP32 is as a small Bluetooth sniffing device. Simply attach a small screen and battery and you are good to go. Is there a Bluetooth device under your car, in your jacket, in your shower? Well, with such a project, you can find out for sure. Overall, the Arduino Nano ESP32 is exactly what Nano users have been waiting for. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity options provide users with immense capabilities, and the use of a USB-C connector means that you no longer have to suffer from that dreaded micro USB-B cable not fitting or becoming really, really weak. Additionally, the supreme processing capabilities of the ESP32 in comparison to the AppMega 168 and 328 
means that you can run advanced projects such as VGA adapters and even small AI algorithms. So if you want to get your hands dirty with a Nano ESP32 and want to support my workaholic habit, then head over to the Electromaker store where you can grab one of these and much more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Woo!